starting my uh, moving everything out of the way. You can see the first thing I did was take off the cast exhaust elbow off the small turbo there. Uh, right now I'm working on moving this heater hose out of the way, so I had to cut the bracket off because you can't get it off unless you take the manifold off. But first, I'm gonna unhook it right here and then under there. And I'm gonna take it out and bend it so that it's kind of routed more back towards the firewall like that so that my up pipe will be able to uh, run up towards the front of the truck without hitting that heater pipe. All right, kind of what I'm working with now, a little mock-up action. Uh, as you can see, I just removed the intake uh, box. Uh, I got the battery out. It should. I got a couple more inches of clearance. I should actually be able to uh, keep the second battery. If not, uh, I can delete it in run, one run battery, no uh, issues. Uh, right now, it's just tacked, so I, I, I'm still planning on supporting uh, the turbo, probably off of these two studs, build some bracketing. Uh, to support the turbo but pretty simple uh, it's just one three inch u-bend uh, and a v-band clamp right here and then this is pre-made so made it pretty easy but uh it's just on there loose for mock-up so i'll go ahead and take it off uh, just kind of show you where where i'm at this is kind of where i'm at uh like i said just a simple three inch u-pipe uh, i got stainless um i chopped off this part of it and I use some of the extra to lengthen this side. This is the V-band for the turbo, uh, right there. Just a three inch V-band. Um, if I ever do this again, maybe think about going three and a half inch. This kind of looks small now that I'm thinking about it, but we're gonna see how it works anyways. I'm not going for a million horsepower, just more than stock. <laughs> uh, this is actually a special flange. Uh, from Keating Machine, I believe, on eBay. Uh, it's an HE351 kind of flange. Uh, HE351 adapt down to three inch. Uh, they make several more sizes, as you can see. It's a nice uh, billet machined piece here. Uh, I think they go each HE351 to four, three and a half, and three. So if you guys are looking uh, to do this, they make uh, several different sizes for that. Got just a standard three inch V-band on here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm, uh, that's pretty much all you need to fabricate. Uh, it's not really that much. Uh, this, and then uh, some aluminum intake from the atmospheric turbo into the intake of the uh, HE351. As for the turbo, this is pretty much the biggest expense of this whole deal i probably got left around 200 dollars in parts here but the turbo is what really uh cost the most i'm gonna try out this billet 475 s475 clone i got it on the smaller t4 housing uh if i ever do this again might think about doing a t6 it's a 83 turbine a 110 ar on the housing i'm running the big one t6 on my race car uh, 75 so seems to be uh, okay it's a vs racing turbo so uh, it's a borg knockoff but people have good luck with them uh, on drag cars so i figured what the heck maybe try it on a compound setup uh, as far as other parts i got this uh it goes on here and then i'm gonna weld some aluminum intake down to the small turbo uh, as far as oil drainage and feed, I just bought this uh, 4AN feed line off of Amazon or eBay, I don't remember. Uh, it was like 15 bucks probably. This is actually a special block drain. Uh, on the common rail, there's another block with a freeze plug in it. You just pound this puppy in there and you got yourself a drain. And then for a feed, you got a little 4AN 8th inch NPT uh, that goes on top of the oil filter housing. So that's gonna feed and drain the turbo. And then pretty much after that, all I gotta do is make a downpipe. Not uh, much to it at all, really. All right, this is what I've got so far. A uh, little bit of bracing for the turbo there. 
Uh, I just braced it to the exhaust manifold studs. Probably gonna clean this up a bit and add a few more gussets um, and that'll be good. Everything's finished welded. Intake is there. That was a bitch to make. A lot of pie cuts because of the weird angle trying to get it down in there. But she clears barely. Uh, so next thing is down pipe. Um, try and hook it to the factory five inch and, and then we should be ready to start.